Join me to hear from the biggest names inside and outside politics. Sunday with Laura Koonsberg. Sundays at 9 on BBC One and iPlayer. Live from London, this is The World Today from BBC News. 67 MPs call on the House of Commons Speaker to quit after yesterday's voting chaos over a ceasefire in Gaza. We should never let extremists intimidate us into changing the way in which Parliament works. Parliament is an important place for us to have these debates and just because some people may want to stifle that with intimidation or aggressive behaviour, we should not bend to that. The mother of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny says she's finally seen his body almost a week after he died in an Arctic prison. Yesterday in the evening they secretly drove me to the morgue and showed me Alexei's body. The investigators claim they know the reason of death and that they have all the medical and legal documents ready. Disgraced Brazilian footballer Dani Alves is jailed for four and a half years after being found guilty of raping a woman in a nightclub. This is the scene live in Valencia in Spain where firefighters are battling a huge blaze raging in a multi-storey residential building. Also coming up on The World Today. We speak with the mother of James Foley, the journalist murdered by Islamic State in 2014, about his death and how she later met with one of his killers. Hello and welcome to The World Today with Mariam Mashiri. The UK Prime Minister has criticised the Speaker of the House of Commons over the way he handled a vote in Parliament on a ceasefire in Gaza last night. But Rishi Sunak stopped short of saying Sir Lindsay Hoyle should resign. More than 60 MPs have now called for Sir Lindsay to go after he changed parliamentary convention in a way that ended up helping the Labour Party. Well, the move sparked chaos in the Commons as dozens of SNP and Conservative MPs walked out. The Speaker has today apologised again, saying he has made a mistake. Our chief political correspondent, Henry Zeffman, has more. It's a, another example of our politicians getting involved in bun fights. It, it stopped being about Gaza and it became about them. It just takes you away from the real issue. Shocking. Shocking. Geopolitics descending into petty politics. 